A very good evening and welcome to the RSC for tonight's SSC Electricity Premier Division clash of Waterford FC and Sligo Rovers. It's Ray Scott along with Matt Keane for what promises to be a cracking game. We've had, we've had situations here with the water, the, the pitch is underwater, and uh, three hours later it's dry as a bone. But Waterford now in possession. Niall O'Keefe back uh, for a start. Finds it. Melissa Samoa tries the little looping header, but not too far away. Great, great chance. Great spot, Niall O'Keefe. Yeah, lovely uh, work there by Niall O'Keefe. Placed the ball onto the head of Asamoa, but unfortunately he was just too close to the goal and he was unable to get it down. And the ball went over the cross mark. He was a little bit further out. He could have got the, uh, the header on target, but I don't think he headed it hard enough anyway. To so a lot of those uh, players, um, himself and Nando Pinnaker on international duty this week. Now it's Asamoah picks it up on the left-hand side. Trying to take on Wigget, gets by Wigget. Can he get the ball across? A little area, a little uh, interception, timely interception. Waterford will win their first corner. Yeah, good work again there by Asamoah. Did very well indeed, got a good ball in. Waterford win the corner kick. So Connor Parsons will take this one and in years of age a Welsh under 21 international came through the Man U Academy joined Cardiff and went on loan to Dundee last autumn and then arrived in Sligo this year but I think again he's another one of these short-term loanees so Chance now can uh, Asamoah get the ball across, or it was Parsons, but the uh, ball eventually cleared away. Uh, just a little bit too high, but Paul uh, Ammon was uh, running in, just a little bit too high, Ray. If the ball had to be about two inches lower, well, still he would have got forward. his head on it. Ball has gone out, he'll be another corner. Yeah, a good ball in, he pulled it back from the end line. And Again, Sligo defence trying to hold that line. In it goes towards the back, headed, headed away. I think it was Pinnaker. Ball comes back in though. Little flick. Oh yes, sir. Just touched away again. McGinty earns his wages. Yeah, another brilliant save by McGinty. That's two superb saves in the space of two, three minutes. Super ball. Again, I think it was McDonald with the ball into the area. Little flicked on, and. Uh, um, no sign of a board from the fourth official. Here comes Hartman. Ball headed. Oh, touched over. Super, super effort. Brilliant save by Sam Sargent, tipping that ball over the bar. Ryan Burke there congratulating him. Yeah. So that's two excellent saves by Sargent, two excellent saves by McGinty. Yeah, it doesn't see it was. But, uh, yeah. It was, yeah, it's going to be enough. Uh, let me tell you that there has finally been a goal in the Premier Division. It's come Atala and it's gone to the home side, so the champions. Oh, there's a goal here. And uh, just yeah, out Ellis of the Chapman. blue, Ellis Chapman just unleashed a left footed shot. Came out of nowhere. And Sligo have taken the lead here at the Regional Sports Centre. 51 yeah, when, minutes. They said uh, we're going to play him in a more forward uh, position in the second half, and it's paid off for John Russell and Sligo Rovers. That was a wonderful strike. Gave Sam Sargent no chance whatsoever. So, not what uh, Keith Long would have been expecting in the early stages of this second half, but I don't know what was they were thinking. Yeah, no, I started with a. Uh, a goal kick out, right? Yeah, McGinty. McGinty, yeah, long, long, long kick. Yeah, it is. Yeah, headed down yeah. by Matt. Matt, uh, yeah. Beautiful left, left footed strike. That was so simple, just a long ball, McGinty, headed down uh, by Matt uh, into the path of Chapman. Beautiful left, left footed strike. Wonderful goal. Ball is with Sergeant. Long ball. Amund hits a free header, flicks it into space. Now Asamoah, so you go, Asamoah! Asamoah pull it down, and that could be very, very serious. That could be a red card. So, and uh, it's only a yellow card. Only, uh, bad decision by the referee. But, uh, bad decision. 
It was outside the area, and it was probably there was probably a defender inside. But, uh, we'll get another look at it in a second. Yeah, the war players are not happy with this situation. All around, but we see. So it was Charlie Wiggett uh, pulled. So now we're going to have that free kick be taken by Barlow into that danger area. Oh, what a shot and what a goal! And the flag has gone up. And uh, it was a super free kick. Sam Sargent, but the clearance eventually. Romero does well to find Simon Power, but he goes to ground. Simon Power has been shown a straight red, and the fourth official is, I think, um, I think he threw a fist. But we'll see it on the replay. But Simon Power has been red carded. Well, we'll wait to see what happens. But uh, the Sligo players incensed by that decision. So we're going to see this now again. So a lot of head tennis going on, eventually cleared. Simon Power gets involved. He was he goes to ground, he gets dispossessed by Dara Power. And then oh, he kicked out of him, actually. Did you see there was a kick? Um, so it was did well it. spotted by the referee, in fairness. So Yeah, the big question, I suppose, uh, Snigel people uh, did it warrant the red card. Right. Pinnaker. McDonald puts it in again over the top. Control, Dean McMenemy. Ball low across the area. Oh, a little back flick from Podge Hammond. Wilson Moeru scored at the showgrounds two weeks ago with that. Yeah, good move by Warford there. McDonald picking out McMenemy. Would have been certainly a contender for goal of the month had he got uh, the little touch on it. Waterford have suffered so cruelly at the death in so many games. Can they inflict the same? Oh, he goes short. Patterson gives it back to Burke. Burke now going to try and get the ball into that area. Up into the air. This could be the last chance for Waterford. Still, it's cleared. And then it's eventually scrambled away. And the referee, Mark Lynch, blows his whistle. And Waterford slipped to their third defeat of the season. Their first at home. But uh, Keith Long cuts a little... Uh, poor figure here as he goes across to congratulate John Russell. So it's finished here at the Regional Sports Centre. Waterford FC nil, Sligo Rovers 1. Good night from the RSC.